Welcome to part three of our uh, Motorola PTP Link Planner tutorial and overview. We've done some of the basics of uh, setting sites and building links. Now we're going to get into some of the, um, the link engineering aspects of the tool. Um, let's go back uh, just briefly and look at some of the other uh, functions first of the um, uh, the Google Earth interface and the integration that we have here. So this right here is our Google Earth tool. Again, it will launch Google Earth for us and bring this up, this link up for us. And so we see a blue line, which represents the antenna center line for the for the link. We see the increments in miles of the link, and then to show you a bit further. Um, in the terrain, it's po uh, populating uh, three high points, the three highest points on the link. These happen to be all grouped together within, um, uh, as they usually are, within a certain area. So this is where I've looked here and I've seen that there are trees. So I've put in trees on this uh, profile um, to, um, uh, to um, engineer part of the link. So I look at the rest of the link see some trees and note that at 4.6 miles and at two miles or about one mile 1.7 miles for the link I should keep an eye out to see if that might put, uh, affect anything and just to um, uh, just to make sure I'm going to do from about 1.7 roughly to here again I click and drag and then I hit double click all right, double click the link, sorry. I uh, click and drag, and then I enter in the value of 80 feet here, and it fills in, again, 80 feet of trees here. So um, you always set should include the trees as a factor in your links, and the uh, Motorola tool allows you, with the integration with Google, allows you to see where the trees are um, uh, in a pathway. So we, uh, we're scrolling down here. This has been engineered with uh, right at this point with the integrated antennas on the PTP 600, um, and we see here that once we've entered in these trees, we had a mean IP availability required of four nines of availability, um, which tells us is basically uh, 52.6 minutes per year of outage um, based on uh, propagation modeling. That um, this is turned red here. This is turned red here, and if we go to our our project map, this link will show up as red. This warns you that the link has fallen below the values that you set for either uh, throughput requirements or availability requirements. So what this tells us is we need to probably go up here, and this is um, find a radio waves four foot dual parabolic antenna put it on each side or put it on just one side of the link and of course this is uh, dependent on what we have available uh, wind loading wise on the tower so it's always going to be a um, kind of a balancing act between what you want throughput wise what you need availability require wise and uh, what uh, heights you have on the antennas and what uh, what size dishes each of the uh, uh, locations will will uh, will uh, take. So regularly what we have now is aggregate IP throughput of 46.16 megabits um, in the lowest mode which would be in our BPSK we have six nines of availability. Since the PTP 600 is adaptive rate we can show that um, at uh, its highest modulation it's not going to have uh, decent availability uh, throughout the year but in the QPSK and BPSK modes, which deliver um, uh, 10.5 to 5.7 megabits per second, it's going to have the highest availability. So if we want to very quickly um, create a, um, a report from this, we'll be able to go up to this report link right here, and it will generate a PDF report of everything we have of just this link here of all the information. Now we'll go on to a fourth portion and just kind of finish up things um, and that should do it.